Hey what's up guys my name is Swapna Shivastho and welcome back to the channel so guys in today's video I'm going to show that how to run the latest version of the Parrot OS on your smartphone so the latest version of the Parrot OS is the 4.11.3 version and I'm going to use the official ISO given by the Parrot OS itself so basically Parrot OS is a pen testing operating system very much similar to the Kali Linux and it has plenty of the tools that you normally use on a PC or laptop with the help of the Kali Linux like the Metasolar framework or the Armitage so you can install all these hacking tools on this Pareto OS operating system and it will be easily able to run on a smartphone with the method I'm going to show you okay so what you have to do you simply have to go to the description and find all the download links just download all the files from there and if you face any kind of difficulties you will find my Instagram profile link in the description just go and follow me and message me I will try to help as much people I can okay so let us start the video without wasting any more time So first of all what you have to do you have to go to description you will find a download link of Parrot OS and also for the download link of Limbo emulator. Just go and download from there and then come back to the smartphone. So the next thing you have to do you have to install the Limbo PC emulator and open it. So here you can see here is a Limbo x86 PC emulator just open it. So it will open something like this. Simply click on this click on new and just give a machine name here. So we are going to run the Parrot OS. So we are going to type here Parrot. OS and click on done click on create and now clicks anywhere on the screen it will just uh, uh, remove this pop-up and now you have to go to the user interface and just make sure that you have this default value set up now go to the board section so in the machine type just select the PC and the CPU model just slide down and select the QMO 64 in the CPU course select the the maximum amount of CPU cores you can give like my smartphone has the 8 core processor so I'm going to give the 4 cores here now click on ok in the RAM memory you can give as much RAM you want depending on your smartphone RAM so I'm going to give somewhere like 4840 MB and here what I will do I will disable the TSC and just enable the MTD CG ok click on ok now click on disk and what you have to do here even you can create a new hard disk click on it uh, by clicking on it and click the new and just uh, give the size and give the name of the hard disk and with the help of this hard disk you can simply just uh, install the Parrot OS inside that hard disk or even you can directly boot the Parrot OS uh, without having any hard disk attached ok so let me open the place where I kept my Parrot OS downloaded uh, ISO file so you can see go to the your uh, internal storage go to the download folder and just select the downloaded Parrot OS ISO file here you can see Parrot KDE it is of around 2.18 GB just select it now in the boot section select the default from the CD ROM ok and just lift everything as it is so just make sure that if you want to boot from the ISO if you don't want to install the Parrot OS right now you can simply just attach the CD ROM and select the boot from CD ROM and if you want to install the Parrot OS on any hard disk just create a new hard disk here uh, with any size of your uh, choice and install the Parrot OS so what I'm going to do I'm just simply going to boot the Parrot OS from their ISO I'm not going to install it so it's up to you okay now click on the play button and let the booting process to complete here it will open something like this click on your back button click on this keyboard option and just select it the first option which is a try or install so we are just going to try the Parrot OS we are not going to install it so if you want to install it I just told you earlier you just have to attach a hard disk file and just uh, start the installation so let the booting process to complete
so here you can see guys the Pareto OS is completely booted up so first of all you can see the desktop icons one is install Pareto OS and here you will find the readme file so basically by clicking on install Pareto OS you will easily able to install your Pareto OS on any hard disk file if you attach to the virtual machine as I told you earlier you can just attach a hard disk file you can create a new one and just use this option to install that uh, install the Pareto OS on that hard disk file okay so I'm just going to try the Pareto OS I'm not going to install it so you can see this is the start menu of the Pareto OS and just click on it so you can see you'll find the privacy option the development section the game section the graphics section so you will find some apps uh, related to those section which comes pre-installed it and even you can install those app uh, by using the terminal or the app store okay so here you can see these are the all the application you can see the multimedia the internet the office the pen testing so you can install all type of the uh, hacking tools like the metaflow framework or the armitage or any of your choice you can just install it using the terminal so let me open the terminal here you can see so you can see the console which is basically the name of the terminal So here you can see the terminal is open. So you can see the username is user at the red parrot, and you can use your keyboard to type your command. Like I'm going to type here ls to list the content of the present directory, and you can run any command of your choice. Okay, so just make sure that firstly you install the Pareto OS in any hard disk file, and then use this terminal's feature to install the file. Then it will be easily able to save all the your changes. Okay, okay. Let me change the wallpaper of the desktop. So these are the wallpaper option given here. Let me choose another one. So basically all the wallpaper are similar. So I'm going to select the last one and click on apply. So let me close the menu here. So this is the way through which you can change the wallpaper or theme and just customize the palette as, as according to your need. Okay. So that's all guys for this video. I hope you like it. So if you're new to our channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon so you will never miss any update. And if you face any type of difficulties while following this video, just go to description, find my Instagram profile link. Just go and follow me there. I will try to help as much people I can. Okay. So that's all guys for this video. I hope you like it. Have a good day. Good luck. And bye. Take care.